hi everyone you are welcome back to my channel today we are asked to solve for x now you don't just expand this straight if you do that it's going to be difficult for you to solve so how do we go about that first let's bring if you notice that if you add one to four you will get the same thing as two adding two to three right so let's bring this to this side and bring these two together as well so we have x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 4 then multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 is equal to 120. Now we can expand this and expand this. So let's expand x times x we give us x squared x times plus 4 we give us plus 4x. 1 times x we give us plus x 1 times 4 we give us plus 4 okay then let's expand this one x times x we give us x squared x times plus 3 we give us plus 3x plus 2 times x plus 2x plus 2 times plus 2 plus 6 is equal to 120 all right now let us um add everything together let's simplify further we have x squared plus 4x plus x is 5x so we have 5x plus 4 and x squared plus 3x plus 5, uh, 2x is another 5x dot we have plus 6 this time is equal to 120 okay so we have x squared plus 5x plus 4 here and we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 but we can bring out 4 from 6 okay so let's express 6 as 4 plus 2 but 6 is equal to 4 plus 2 okay so we have x squared plus 5x plus 4 Multiply by x squared plus 5x plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 120. All right. Now, you can see that we have x squared plus 5x plus 4 here. And we also have x squared plus 5x plus 4 here. So we can say let x squared plus 5x plus 4 be equal to y. <laughs> Click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell. If this is the first time you are seeing this amazing channel, all right? Yeah, we upload our videos as often as we can. So tune in at your convenience, there must be something new to watch. Give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. So, we can now write this as, sorry, this is plus 4 plus 2, right? Is equal to 120. All right, so let's replace this with y. So we are going to have y bracket. This will now be y plus 2. y plus 2 is equal to 120. Now, let's expand. So we have y times y, which is y squared plus y times 2, which is 2y, is equal to 120. Now, if we bring this in, this is plus 120. If we bring it in, we have minus 120. So we have y squared plus 2y minus 120 is equal to 0. Okay, now we have a quadratic equation to solve. We need two factors of 120 that when we add them together, we get two. And they are 12 and minus 10, okay? 12 times minus 10 will give us minus 20, and 12 minus 10 will give us plus 2. So we have y squared plus 12y minus 10y minus 120 is equal to 0. So we have, let's group, group, all right? Then group, group. 
to do that here this turns to plus right okay but let me not confuse you. let's do it this way let's do it this way to avoid someone asking me in the comment section why did you change the negative to positive all right so this is what we have so this and this what they have in common is y let's bring it out y squared divided by y will give us y and 12y divided by y will give us 12 then here what they have in common is minus 10 all right now minus 10y divided by minus 10 will give us y then minus 120 divided by minus 10 will give us plus 12 is equal to zero so we have y plus 12 y plus 12 just take one of them multiply it by y minus 10 is equal to zero okay now if we continue if we continue we are going to have now this is what we have right now that y plus 12 multiplied by y minus 10 is equal to 0. So that means that y plus 12 is equal to 0 and y minus 10 is equal to 0, right? So it's either y plus 12 is equal to 0 or y minus 10 is equal to 0. But recall, but recall that our y, remember that this is our y, right? Recall that y is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 4. That is our y. So let's replace it with the first one. If we replace it with the first one, we have x squared plus 5x plus 4 here, then plus 12 is equal to 0. Then here, if we replace this, we have x squared plus 5x plus 4, then minus 10 is equal to zero if we solve this we are going to have x squared plus 5x plus 16 is equal to zero if we solve here we have x squared plus 5x minus 6 is equal to zero now from here this one you can see that we can solve that by factorization method but you cannot solve this by factorization method so let's solve this one first using the factorization method so the two factors of um minus six that when we add together we get five is one and minus six right yeah so is one minus one and plus six because six minus one will give us five and six times minus one will give us minus six so we have x squared plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now we can write this as x squared plus 5 plus 6x minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now let us factorize. This and this, they have x in common. We bring it out. x squared divided by x is x. 6x divided by x is 6. Now here, they don't have any common factor. That means their common factor is minus 1, right? So minus x divided by minus 1 will still give us 6. Minus 6 divided by minus 1 will give us plus 6 is equal to 0. So from here, we can see that... Let me copy this out. Okay, let me copy it out somewhere. Because I want to clean everything. I need a good... A better this thing. So I'm going to copy this out because we are going to solve it later. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 16 is equal to 0. We are going to solve that later. So permit me to clean every other thing. Okay. All right. Now, sorry about that. Now let's continue. So from here, from here, we can see x plus 6 x plus 6 multiplied by x minus 1 x minus 1 is equal to 0 so this simply means that either x plus 6 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0 so from here we can see that x is equal to minus 6 
or x is equal to one so this is the first and the second value of our x but we still have another quadratic equation to solve because remember that that question carries four x's so we need four values of our x so we have the first value as minus six and the second value as one now this is the second equation i don't know if you can see it from there so the second quadratic equation is x squared plus 5x plus 16 is equal to zero now because we cannot factorize this we are going to solve this using the quadratic equation formula now quadratic equation formula states that our x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a so that means that first our a is the coefficient of x squared which is equal to 1 our b is the coefficient of x which is equal to 5 our c is our constant which is equal to 16. Now let's substitute that into this place, okay? So if we do that, we have x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 16 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So x is minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So you have 64 divided by 2. So we have x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 39 minus 39 divided by 2. All right? So that simply means that the next values of our x is going to be minus 5 plus or minus square root of 39i because square root of minus 1 is i divided by 2. Now, the only real values of our x is minus 6 and plus 1. Now, shall we check? Let's check if the answer is correct. So our answer is minus 6 and 1. We are going to use 1. The <laughs> The smallest one to prove it, okay? Because I don't want to waste much time. So the question says x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 4 is equal to 120, okay? So if our x is 1, let's use 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2 multiplied by 2 plus 2 is 4 multiplied by Sorry, 1 plus 2 is 3, multiplied by 1 plus 3 is 4, multiplied by 1 plus 4 is 5. So we have 4 times 5 is 20, right? 20 multiplied by 2 times 3 is 6, and this will give us 120. So you can go ahead and prove the answer using the second number, which is minus 6. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.